This video is a masterclass discussing the history and environment of Texas wine. We will explore two notable AVAs, or American Viticultural Areas, the Texas Hill Country and Texas High Plains. We are Tiqua Tavern Hospitality, educating minds and palates on wine, spirits, and food. When you think of Texas, wine probably doesn't come to mind. However, the history behind Texas wine will make you think again. Texas is considered the home of the first vineyards planted in North America. Thanks to Franciscan priests wanting communion wine, we had plantings as early as 1662. The vines thrived through the 1800s as more cuttings were brought from Europe. That is until prohibition ruined the entire U.S. wine industry. Perhaps you've heard of a phylloxera outbreak in the late 1800s that decimated vineyards all across Europe. The small aphid destroyed over 80% of French vineyards. Luckily for all of Europe, a viticulturist living in Denison, Texas came to the rescue. His name, Thomas Polney Munson. Munson was an expert in grape botany and grafting techniques. He had access to hardy North American rootstock, which proved to be resistant to phylloxera. Munson grafted the European varieties to the American rootstock and saved European wines as we know them today. The rootstocks that Munson recommended to the French were Texas native grapes found in Texas Hill Country. You are welcome, Europe. Doc McPherson, a chemistry professor at Texas Tech University, is credited for bringing wine back to Texas. He planted his first vineyards in 1966 with 140 different varietals to understand and explore what grew best in the Texas climate and soil. In 1976, he opened Llano Estacado Winery in what is now the Texas High Plains ABA. Today, there are about 400 Texas wineries contributing to 60,000 jobs around the state, which impacts our economy by about $13 billion. Texas is the fifth largest wine producing state with great, great growth potential. We're closing in on New York for the number four spot. Texas is attracting more experimental winemakers with our low cost of land and less regulation than most other states. The industry is young and adventurous, exploring Spanish, Southern French, and Italian bridles that grow well in the state's environment. By law, Texas wine only has to be 75% Texas grapes to claim Texas on the label. Historically, this was required because of the production uh, stability and consistency could not keep up with the demand. Many of our favorite winemakers, like these, are advocating to raise the requirement to 100%, like California. Since Texas is about the same size as France, there are many different climates and soil types around the state. Overall, Texas has a warm, continental climate similar to that of Spain, Italy, southern France, and Portugal. However, heat is not what keeps grape growers up at night. Spring frost, hail, and drought can be catastrophic for vineyards. The varietals that grow best miss the frost by budding later and don't require a lot of water or a long ripening season. There are over 4,000 acres of vineyards covering eight different AVAs in the state of Texas. The two largest and most notable AVAs are the Texas High Plains and the Texas Hill Country. With the elevation between 3,000 and 4,100 feet, the Texas High Plains is a bit cooler than the rest of Texas. Surprisingly, the Texas Panhandle not only grows the best grapes in Texas, but 80% of Texas grapes are grown there. The region shows the most potential with a more temperate climate, which is similar to Napa. The cooler weather allows for the grapes to ripen longer, which helps balance those ripe flavors and acidity, a necessity for quality wine. The soil drains well and the wind helps prevent against disease. Drought is the biggest issue here, Therefore, irrigation is required. The High Plains might produce more grapes, but most Texas wineries have tasting rooms in the much more scenic 
Texas Hill Country ADA. This abundance of tasting rooms is why Texas Hill Country is thought to be the heart of Texas wine. Located north of San Antonio and west of Austin, there are beautiful rolling hills with an elevation maxing out at 2,100 feet. There's more rain and humidity than the high plains, but with that comes more heat, forcing the grapes to be harvested as early as July. Hi, Texas hosts many of our favorite tasting rooms like William Chris and the French Connection. Enjoy learning about Texas wine. No matter where you are, please support your local wine community. You likely don't have to travel all that far to find your own local wine tasting. And if you like reading about wine and spirits, head to teakwoodtavern.com where we post articles about topics ranging from Texas wine to chartreuse. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel here. If you'd like to see another video just like this, please 